The venous drainage of the eye mirrors the arterial system in many ways. There are two major venous systems, the central retinal vein draining the inner retina and the vortex veins and ciliary veins draining the choroid, ciliary body, and iris. The central retinal vein runs alongside the central retinal artery. It begins at the optic disc, formed by the confluence of four retinal venules, which correspond to the arteriolar arcades. It drains the inner layers of the retina, from the nerve fiber layer to the inner nuclear layer. From the optic disc, it follows a path posteriorly through the optic nerve within its central core, just like the central retinal artery. As it exits the optic nerve, it pierces the meninges around 8 to 10 millimeters behind the globe. The central retinal vein has more variability in its drainage pattern. In most cases, it drains directly into the superior ophthalmic vein, but in about 20 to 40% of people, it drains directly into the cavernous sinus. The vortex veins are the main drainage system of the choroid. There are typically four to six vortex veins located in the equatorial region of the globe with one vortex vein, at least in each quadrant. Each vortex vein drains a quadrant of the choroid, ciliary body, and peripheral retina. They exit the eye by piercing the sclera obliquely posterior to the equator. The superior vortex veins drain into the superior ophthalmic vein. The inferior vortex veins drain into the inferior ophthalmic vein. Importantly, these veins are valveless, allowing retrograde flow, which is why infections from the face or orbit can potentially spread to the brain through the cavernous sinus.